We're spending one night in Karazhan. Let's have a look at what the menagerie is all about. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Loco. All right, looks like we got three bosses. The curator guards the menagerie, home to Azeroth's most exotic creatures. Beyond lie the master's chambers and the portal to save Medivh. All right, all right. Once again, we got a sweet little bit of artwork over here. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually seeing a, a bunch of Murlocs once again, and obviously one of the spirit beasts. I actually am the proud owner of Lok. Very, very cool. But anyhow, uh, let's have a quick look. The first boss is going to be, I think, looks like a golem. The curator is releasing the menagerie. We shall need to fix it. The curator has gone crazy. Fix it. Okay, so he's got a hero power, a passive one. Your hero has taunt. Wait, 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 are you telling me the curator himself has taunt? How does that make any sense? I mean, we do get to choose a deck once again. I think I'll... I'll just throw some zoo at him. Gul'dan versus the curator! Do not touch the displays. Your soul shall be mine! Okay. So we got the Menagerie's curator right here. Let's have a quick look at what he's gonna do. I'm not entirely sure what his hero power actually means, though. Because it says... It says the hero has taunt? Like, how does... What? How? What, what does that mean? This curator do? is equipped for menagerie management. So, like, I can only attack the boss? What? I guess we'll find out what that means. He may be throwing out a whole bunch of annoying minions or something that I can't take out. Would that be the idea? I just can never actually attack his board. I just have to nuke him down. That is exactly what is going on so far, at the very least. Question is, do we go Knife Juggler or Direwolf Alpha? I know very well that obviously, um... No, we gotta, we gotta go Direwolf, obviously, right? Just so we kill the Panther. Could've also gone for the uh, Balfin, actually. This is a little weird, though. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little strange. Alright, so it looks like he's gonna go full face. Wow, double Lightning Bolt? Really? That's not cool, man. That's not cool at all. You know what? We'll play the Darkshire Councilman and see if we can use him. Next turn we can play a whole bunch of minions. Not not our lightning. Okay, good. Okay, good. Here's what we'll do. We'll play the Knife Juggler. Two out of three chances is gonna hit uh, the, 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 the wolf as well, right? Or the Panther Rudder. Come on. There you go. Sweet. Sweet. So far, so good. So far, so good. Please comply with all gallery protocols. This curator is allergic to beasts. Summon a random the beast. The curator is confused. You'll need to stop it before it releases everything. I mean, I think I can just hit him in the face, right? I mean, I don't really need to worry a whole lot about, uh, you know, many of these things that are thrown out on the board right now. I just simply hit him in the face. And eventually, he will end up falling, right? I mean, yeah, he's not really throwing all too many scary minions out. Tiny fish things. Go free. Tiny fish things. All right, all right, that's him dead. That's him dead already. Well, hey, that turned out to be easier than I expected. Shutting down. I guess that's normal for you, though. Well, look. Right. Little tweak here, and. Good as new. Looks like he's given us the zoo bolt. The battle cry gives us a random friendly beast, dragon, and murloc. Wait, wait, wait. Give a random free. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I misread. I was gonna say. Give a random friendly beast, dragon, and murloc. Plus one, plus one. I was gonna say, I thought for a second you were gonna get three minions for three mana. Plus a plus, uh, plus a three, three. But no, 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 no. That would have been a little too insane. And now we also have the menagerie warden. The battle cry is to choose a friendly minion and to summon a copy of it. Huh, that could be pretty good. That could be alright in hunter decks. Nice. Yeah, so the first fight wasn't all too complicated, right? Looks like we're going up against a dragon type thing next though, so let's have a look. This curator is... Sorry. Please assist in recapturing the creatures. It's okay. It's okay, curator. Alright, we're going up against Nightbane. The dragon's loose. Return it to the menagerie. So, apparently he's gonna have a passive hero power as well. Players start with 10 mana crystals because apparently we're fighting underneath a mana storm. You know what? 
I think I'm gonna go for the Cthune. I think I'm gonna go for the Cthune deck. Malfurion versus Nightbane. Well then. Do we keep Cthune in our opener hand? Uh, I think we can, we'll keep Nourish though. I think we'll just keep Cthune as well as Nourish. And just start drawing like mad early on, probably our best idea. Ooh. Ren Bronzebeard obviously is great in combination with Cthune. Loose exhibits may come to harm. They must be restored to the menagerie. Gonna start drawing a couple of cards. Obviously, uh, obviously, ideally here we uh, we buff up Cthulhu a bunch before we really start playing him. Do you hear it's there we go. That should be good. Immediately he's gonna get uh, he's gonna get buffed up. Obviously, um, we have to be a little careful. Wow, better try to destroy a minion. And the death battle is to resummon it. All right. Hey, thank you very much for returning the back of evil to my hand. I appreciate that. That's very generous of you. Um. This is, uh, this is pretty sweet, actually. This is working out like a charm so far. I mean, he's going to resummon the minion that I just lost after this, right? So I'm all okay with this. Oh, man. This would be the stupidest Cthulhu kind of play if you would actually start off with 10 mana. Curator, we need to rescue Medivh. The creatures must be saved. Then... You may proceed. I, I figured as much. We've we've watched the play. We killed a chess set and everything. Wow. All right. Well, he's also got the volcano Drake apparently, but that one uh, that one's easy to take out. Um. So I think, I mean, I think we'll just start playing Brand Bronzebeard as well as the Ancient of War together. At which point we should be in a very good spot, right? I mean, it's gonna trigger his hero power twice in the next turn. There's no way he's gonna be able to clean it up, right? Unless he's got a swipe or something silly like that, but... Not, not my battle cry, please. Good. Uh, that, that's it? I mean... No, the menagerie must not be corrupted. I mean, that was, that turned out, uh, that turned out to be pretty good. All right, so we're actually cruising through this one. We got the Nightbane Templar. If you're holding a dragon, summon uh, two 1-1 one, one whelps. Could be good in a, in a you know, in a, in a dragon-based deck. And then we also have the Runic Egg. The Death Rattle is to draw a card, a 1-mana 0-2. Huh, so that's... Yeah, I don't know. The, the fact that it's only one mana could make it all right if you want to like make your deck a bunch smaller, but I don't know. And it looks like the final battle for today is going to be with... I don't know, it looks like a corrupted night elf or something like that. The demon Ilwolf. Oh. Most dangerous exhibit. Approach with caution. Okay. So we got Terrestrian Ilhoof. Ilhoof's releasing the demons. Stop him. So he's got the Dark Pact, a passive hero power once again. Only icky imps. Only icky imps can damage Ilhoof. Wait, do I have to choose a deck? Wait, wait, wait. Only icky imps? Are you telling me I can only hit him with imps or like what's going on? I guess the only deck that I currently have with imps in it is going to be Zoo. I mean, I may have to create another deck and just simply add a whole bunch of imps in there. But the current deck that I do have that does have a couple of them in, I guess it's going to be Zoo, right? Gul'dan versus Ilhoof. What's that? Just in time. Your soul shall be mine. It's a uh, it's a one one. I think I think we'll just get rid of those two. But it's a one one. Not entirely sure what it does. It seemed to have a death rattle if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look. Is this like I think I need to kill that or something to damage him? The ritual begins uh, now. Oh, the death rattle is to be summoned. Rituals it. are not permitted. Yeah, so the death rattle is to resummon this minion and Ilhoof loses two health. So indeed, that's going to be the case. I basically just need to kill that thing 15 times. 15 times. Oh, we can we can kill multiple of them, I guess. I mean, deck, the, the deck that I'm running here should be perfect for that, right? 
I get a lot of minions here that can easily take out little dudes. Yeah, so that's how he's going to be taking damage. Sweet. Is he just going to? Sp he's just going to play a lot of them. Is that exactly what's going on? I don't have a whole lot of area of effect in this deck. Could be, uh, could be pretty good, I guess, in that regard. You know what? That's going to be a good minion here as well. I don't even need to buff it up, right? We're not here to uh, get any additional attack power. Is he just going to summon a board full of imps? Oh, no, 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 okay. I was gonna say, like, a, uh, a taunt might be annoying. A taunt could be, could be pretty annoying here, because I will have to take that one out. I mean, normally it always played a sea giant here, right? But I think I'm probably better off adding more minions out here. I think if I if I attack the Void Collar though, all that's gonna happen is he's gonna summon another imp. Should we risk it? I wanna see if he's got anything other other than this. So I don't really need to uh, I don't even need to buff it up to be honest. Nah, whatever. I'll have a look. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Oh! Oh, he's got no more, uh, no more imps in hand, huh? Come, kill Rack. Now we complete the summoning. Oh God, who's that? What are they trying to summon? This curator does not care. Summoning is forbidden. So that's going to be a two-six. Totally fine by us. He does indeed have taunt. Lucky for me, though. Well, I guess I can play it for free as well. The light me. Lucky for me, though. I can buff up my uh, my minions rather quickly. I'll put him over here. Let him kill that thing. At which point, we'll start killing some of these imps once more. At least try to do a bunch of damage to the boss. I'm not sure what he's trying to summon, though. We're actually pretty low in HP ourselves. He's not playing anymore. Oh, really? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I really don't have too much use here for... Uh... I think we'll just play the Doomguard. <laughs> as silly as that may be, I think we just play the Doomguard and start attacking some of his minions, right? There we go. I mean, I can I can kill those things for days. We'll see how annoying it's gonna be. The ritual must be completed. I don't know how many turns it's gonna take him. It may take him another turn or two. Oh man, the imps are actually murdering me. Oh, really? All right, we're risking it. I've got. Uh, Four life remaining, I'm afraid, after this one. Or uh, three life. Actually, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. I may very well be dead. If I don't draw into a taunt. No! No! What? So he has defeated me once, huh? That's okay. That's okay. Rip ill hoof. We're gonna have to make a deck just to take him out. And we'll pick, we'll pick annoying cards. You know, the reason why I'm, by the way, playing mage is because of the arcane explosion. Little things like that should be pretty good for us. We'll add some mirror images in there as well. And then, I also, obviously, I'm going to be adding in things like the uh, Argent Squire. There's a whole bunch of 1-1 minions. I mean, even the Angry Chicken. Not necessarily a bad play right now. We'll go with the Goldshare Footman. That definitely should not be a bad idea either. Okay, think I got the deck. Think I got the deck. Or actually, hold on, hold on. I just added in some Murloc Tidehunters. Which is not a bad idea, but I actually want to go for the Mad Bomber just because I can. Ah, just in time. You asked for it. You asked for it. So I think we're mulliganing for any kind of area of effect spell, really, but not necessarily Kona Cult. You know what? We'll just get a 1, 2, 3 drop. I don't even know if I've got any 3 mana spells in the deck. Well, hey, Kona Cult really wanted to stay, that's okay. But I would say this time around, I'm a little more prepared for this one as I was previously. The ritual begins. Now, Let's go. rituals are not permitted. We know curator. I think I think we should be okay this time around. 
I think so, at the very least. I mean, I've got so many cards in hand that are going to be a pain for him to deal with. All things considered, I think we'll be okay. Um, I mean, it doesn't seem to do any kind of area of effect spells, but whatever. Wow. There you go. Maybe I should have gone for the Sorcerer's Apprentices so I could go Corn of Cold as well, but... If he plays a board full of these dudes, I'm I'm a okay with that. Honestly, that would be great for me. I love I love how actually the uh, the Goldshire Footman is all of a sudden a legit choice. It's one of the best cards in this one. Wow. Now we complete the summon. He just he just coined what out kill are they Trying to summon. This curator does not care. Summoning is forbidden. Everyone plays by the rules, Curator. Don't worry about it, sir. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. Should we freeze? Should we freeze it? I can. We'll freeze it. Um. You know what? I don't even need to attack. I'm not gonna attack. Come at me. He's just not going to do anything, is he? He doesn't like my taunts now, does he? That's okay. I got a couple of taunts now myself, anyway. Um... You know what? I think I'm just gonna not attack as well. I'll eventually- I'll eventually win this way, right? Gather my pets. The ritual must be completed. Although I'm not entirely sure what kind of ritual he keeps talking about. That's fine. Alright, so, basically any kind of area of effect spell right now will win me the game, right? That's an interesting uh, movement right there. Sadly, I didn't really get any kind of area of effect spell. Although, I may still have them though. Um, let's go. Where are you gonna juggle? Ooh, good juggling skills. Good, good juggling skills. You know what? I think uh, all we really need to do right now is just simply hit some things. I think Mr. Illhoof has lost the battle the second time around. Nice, nice, nice. At the very least, the final battle. Thanks, you. The menagerie will be restored. I, I was gonna say. At the very least, the final battle was a little more difficult than the first two, luckily for us. Looks like we've got Purify. Ooh, I've heard about this one. Silence a friendly minion and draw a card. Apparently, this is supposedly one of the best cards in the expansion, right? Is what I've heard, or the adventure, rather. And we also got the Avian Watcher. If you control a secret, gain plus one, plus one, and taunt. If you control a secret, gain plus one, plus one, and taunt. So it's a five mana, three... Six, but then it would be a four seven. Uh, could be good, I guess. Four seven is a pretty sweet number. Looks like we could open up the spire right now, but let's have a look at the rewards. So we got the menagerie magician, give a random friendly beast, dragon, and murloc plus two plus two. We got the curator himself. The battle cry is to draw a beast, dragon, and murloc from your deck. That seems like a weird combination, though. Nearly to the top. We need to save Medivh before the party becomes a brawl. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, we got one more wing to go, the Spire, that I will be uploading very shortly. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below so you get a notification when I do upload that. But other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I will see you in the next one.